it's September, so the hunting season has started. Maar dat middenste stuk heb jij ook helemaal nog gedaan. Ik heb helemaal gedaan, ja. Okay. Dank u wel. Dus toch weer al iets dat gedaan is, is dat? Ja. Maar ja, toch. fits easily.
düşünüyorum. We've been asked a few times how we don't get overwhelmed by all the projects and possibilities and how we know where to start renovating our 12,000 square feet farm. The truth is that half the time we don't know and that we do sometimes get overwhelmed and that we often don't do things in what later turns out to be the most efficient order. But at the beginning of this adventure, we made the choice to not lose our joy and spirit to striving for perfection and being in control at all times. We chose to relax into the not knowing, into learning as we go, and also into failing as many times as needed. Living here, fully living is our priority, not getting it all finished ASAP. And sometimes living here means doing a little nostalgic project like hanging a doorbell that came from your childhood holiday cottage and found its way back to you after all these years. Sometimes it means finding just the right place for that desk from your great grandmother that has been sitting in storage for months. Sometimes it means organizing your tools just a little bit better. Sometimes it means tackling a big project like the plumbing we did over the past weeks. Sometimes it means spending a whole day baking sourdough bread, only to learn that the dough didn't rise as it should have. For us, it boils down to finding a balance between making plans and doing what feels alive in the moment. It's prioritizing the process instead of doing things perfectly and hitting self-imposed deadlines. The advantage of doing as much of the work as possible ourselves is that we don't have any strict deadlines, only the changing of the seasons. So we're mid-September now and the busy period with visitors um, is coming to an end because the summer holidays are, are over. So we finally have the time to sit down and think about 
what the next steps are. We've done the most important, essential, urgent things like fixing the, wa the water and uh, the... Um, in English. <laughs> The heating system. <laughs> um, and the heating system has been cleaned and should be working. Now that we have the visitors and the most important tasks behind us, we can think about what's next. But there's of course a never ending task of things and there are things that we would really love to do, but that are maybe not so important. So we've split it up in four categories. The first and the longest one. <laughs> is the tasks that have deadlines, things that we have to do before a certain date or preferably do before the start of winter. And then we have uh, tasks with a high impact for living comfort, but that aren't urgent per se. I mean, it would be nice if they happened, but <laughs> we can do without it if, if, if necessary. And then there's a um, category with uh, aesthetic tasks, um, to make things prettier but they can wait until we do all the important stuff first and there's also a list with some maintenance tasks um, like painting the shutters and working on the roof stuff like that that we would like to do but we aren't sure yet when so <laughs> so these are the tasks that we need to do while we are making plans what to do with the property as a whole while we are looking into permits and planning and all that stuff and we recently kind of changed our idea of what we want to do with the property <laughs> we're not ready to talk about it yet we will do it at some point um, but so that means that we have to go back to the drawing table a little bit and um, do research uh, before we can submit planning permission um, and yeah we're not in a hurry we want to make the right decision for us and the property and that's more important than getting it finished asap or starting asap Some might be melons too, I'm not 100% sure, but they look a little bit different. Um, anyway, I also saved some pumpkin seeds from probably this pumpkin. <laughs> um, so we'll sow some next spring. small black ones are grapes that were damaged during the hailstorms this spring before we moved here but the ones that we still have they're really nice and sweet
красиво. Ah, that feels sturdy already. The cement is hardening nicely. It's not perfect, but it's temporary anyway. At some point we have to replace the domain water line to the house again, and also this pit. But I think we can be fairly happy with this, because it's definitely not worse than what the previous owners did. So the bathroom window has a gap uh, on top, through which the drafts comes in. It's probably caused by uh, the joint coming undone in the lower left corner. And so with winter coming, it would be wise to mend this. So we're going to take out the window and have a look. We can fix this somehow. This needs to be replaced, this is rotten here, and also there's bad wood over here that needs to be replaced. We'll, uh, we'll have a look when we take it apart.